What's up YouTube, James Affair here. Welcome to a new series for the channel. This will be a series on a scenario called Seasons of Silver, and I'm really excited to do it. It seems really, really challenging. I don't know if I can even complete it. We'll see if I can swing it, but um, I want the episodes to probably be around an hour, and I'll just do the best I can, and if I fail, then I'll just start anew, but you know, keep the episodes rolling. I think that'd be a good idea, but yeah, I've heard this is extremely challenging, so I want to start this scenario out and and we'll see how it goes. So like the background is is if you've played the the Crown Falls or um, the Cape Trelawney DLC, then you know that throughout that DLC, we'll go ahead and set sail. Um, what happened in that DLC is you tr you get the Scepter of Capone and then Vasco Oliveira or whatever gives it up because. Um, the uh, La Corona or whatever his name is, he's the guy who he's the guy who cast this guy out, Vasco Oliveira. Um, but anyways, I'll skip the story. You guys can check it out for yourselves. What I want to do is slow it down right away, and we'll see kind of what we start out with. So here we go with the Seasons of Silver DLC. But anyways, so so since this guy failed to obtain the Scepter of Capone, he's exiled and then basically forced to do a bunch of labor. So what we have to do, we have to start out, we have to build a settlement capable of mining silver, we have to attract Hornaleros and build a silver ore mine. So I think what we can do here is you can, you so you can renovate these buildings. That's a lumberjack's hut. Um, I wonder what we can actually destroy. So we actually, okay, we do get some resources for destroying these. But I don't think this, yeah, the desolate marketplace, we can't actually... So a lot of these we can't actually rebuild. We can rebuild these and we can rebuild. Okay, so these ones that have like the little destroyed mountain or pile of rubble on them are ones that that we can actually rebuild. But these ones with the arrows, I guess we can like just destroy those. But what I don't want to do. Actually, I actually, I actually, I accidentally just destroyed a Hornalera residence, but that's okay. We can destroy these ones with the arrows. And we do get like lots of bricks and timber back. But what I don't want to do is like get over the limit. See, we're at 75 out of 75. So what I want to do is actually um, maybe build some build some stuff out here first. And I know the, the lumber or the, uh, the oil, we do have oil fertility on the island. Yeah, five silver ore deposits. So this is actually pretty cool. We have spice, sugar, corn, and nitre deposits. So... That's going to be really, really handy. So I wonder if I should make a bridge over here or just build like um, like my wood and stuff like that over here. I can always relocate it later. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build the road kind of like this. And in typical typical James the Pharaoh fashion, I'm going to kind of line the, uh, line the road or line the beach here with the road. So I think, I think a lot of pre-planning is going to really ensure our success here. So... What I'm going to do is just make sure I get the roads all planned out ahead of time. And the time is set to slow. Um, so it's only been like a minute. But uh, anyways, I want to bring the road kind of down here. And then we're going to build that lumberjack hut. And I wanted to put it maybe like right. So I get 100% here. And if I can get 100% here. 99%. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any more. Um, Hornalero Residence. Hornalero Residence. And then we can destroy those. Um, what's this? Abandoned Marketplace. What's this? This is a small warehouse. Perfect. So we can drag this over here. We're going to put it there. Um, and what else is this? We have Hornalero Residence. Okay, let's just upgrade these. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is probably build some people on this corner or the hacienda would be good to keep over here because you need this fertile area. So I was thinking maybe we can put the hornaleros over in this direction so I can put down the, I can encircle the, the clay pit here and then maybe put the market over here. So let's put these people. Um... 
Yeah, I think this will be fine. We'll put them right there. And I can always move them later. But I do, I do want this to be, like, efficient. So, I'm at the very least going to make sure that I try to utilize the space as, as much as I can. So we'll keep moving these guys over here. I know the relocation cost is kind of expensive, but uh, I do save a little bit of timber by doing that. Put that road together, and then I wanted to put the, put the market here. That way we can get kind of a little bit, little bit of a population going already. Okay, now what can we do? We can, uh, actually we should build this base in this 35 timber, 35 bricks, so we'll do that right away. Um, we'll destroy this object here. And we're already getting, like, a good amount of, uh, stuff out of it. Okay, cool. So now we've destroyed all that stuff, um, this hacienda should be good to start building on pretty soon, but I'm gonna get rid of these extra roads. We do get a little bit of money out of that, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to extend the road kind of on this shore as well. Like that. And I'm not entirely sure where I want to build the hacienda at. But I'm going to make sure that at least, like... So if you move this... You can... If I build... So if I build it here... Um... If I build it here, then I can at least build the, the population here, but I won't be able to build, like, the the Hacienda Farms. And the Hacienda Farms actually save a ton of space, so it might be a good idea to, like, keep it in this area. Um, but I do want to move it a little bit, so I'm going to delete this um, this road here. I'm going to have to move that basin as well. But um, I think for now... I think for now I can put it to, like... Maybe right there, because the farms, let's see, the farm, where is it? Hacienda Farm can go like this, one space away. So actually I should probably move it out a little bit. But I can put like one farm here, one farm there. I move it one, maybe two. I know it costs money to move it, but... It's, it's good to get the spacing right. So let's let's actually blueprint this here. Put one there. Um, one. I'm gonna put one there. And maybe it would be better to actually to move that up because if I can put one here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Put one there. And actually, I can put the hacienda kind of like... I can switch the farm to be situated. Well... Okay, I'm gonna... I'll deal with that later. I'm gonna build some build some more population first and focus on, like... Just getting, getting the lumberjack huts going. Because that's gonna be super, super important. Um, I actually can get 100%. Let's see... Right there. There we go. And the, the productivity of these, I believe, is increased by 100% because it's summer. Or 15%. Yeah, so that's cool. We'll get three there, and timber is going to be absolutely essential to our operations here. So I'm going to make sure... I'm going to absolutely make sure that it's um, that's pretty efficient. Or at least try to make sure. 77% I think will be good for that. It's kind of a one-off, so I mean, like, it's fine. But I just wanted to at least utilize this space for some trees. So the timber, and then I can put the timber maybe, maybe like here. Actually, I don't want to interfere with the productivity, so maybe I could put them next to the trade, or next to the, uh, next to the trading post for now. And I'll do, I can do one for now. And then we'll put some Hornaleros in. Again, we'll do... We'll kind of maintain this pattern on the side here. I think that'll be a solid choice. And then um, let's maybe copy this and put it one more tile down. Oops. There we go. 
And then, oh, we can't actually finish the whole thing there, but that's okay. Okay, I think that'll be good for the market at least. Um, so these guys, these guys already have the market. They do need tortillas and rum though. So that's good. We'll, we'll be getting that pretty soon for them. Um, I do want another sawmill here. Okay, now we do need to figure out the hacienda and how many farms I can actually like fit in here. So I was thinking, um, maybe if I put it, I don't, I don't really know. I want to do this you know what let's let's maybe put this let's keep them kind of kind of down you know we'll kind of keep them like this I'm not gonna waste too much time on it but I think this one might be in radius oh I wonder I wonder if I could actually okay let's let's move this Keep these farms kind of like right there. Wonder if I can put this next one right here. Yeah, I can fit that right there. Perfect. So I can extend the modules kind of up into this corner, and then the other ones I can kind of trickle over this way. I think that'll be a good choice here. And I can always adjust it later as my population grows because this radius is going to increase too. Um, and keep it there as well. Okay, so I think I've got, you know, I've got one, two, three. Okay, so I've got six farms at least prepared, planned out. Then I can take this and put it there. All right, so now the hacienda is actually set up. And then the basin, I think what I want to do is keep like, there's an area over here I want to keep fertilized and ready for farming. Um, so the capacity is already 10, right? Of this basin. Yeah, the capacity is already 10, so it's okay to move it. I have, I have no qualms about that. Confirm. It cost me 5,000 to do it, but uh, if I... I can really... If I if monsoon, season, monsoon season comes, which is when like the water all comes in, then I can kind of fill it out here. Although this does look like a wider area, so maybe I can move it there later once I have a little bit more cash. But I've spent, I've honestly spent enough cash at this point just uh, moving things around. So I think I'm going to uh, just chill out for now. But we do need tortillas. So I think I will go ahead and set that up. So to set up tortillas, we need corn, we need goats, and um, a tortilla maker. So um, what I want to do is I kind of okay so I wonder if I can do I can do corn here I can actually do a couple here I can line up three for now but I don't want it to I can delete these later but I don't want it to interfere with these farms I could use these for corn but um maybe I should just do that you know what I mean I should just do that because later too, I'll be needing tractor barns, and I want to use, I want to totally redo my farming with tractor barns at some point. So um, let's get that corn going. I only want to build on the fertile area. There we go. That's fifty-five. Actually, the modules are pretty I, pretty generous. At 55, that's a lot of modules for this. Um, so I'll just put this kind of here. Okay, there we go. Let's upgrade that. And how quick does the corn actually make? Um, the corn is one minute. The goats are one minute. And the tortilla maker is 30 seconds. So I think what I want to do is actually get another corn farm going. So that I can actually support one tortilla maker fully. If that makes sense. I'll just put this up here. It's 61 modules. I know it's I know it's gonna look really, really goofy like this, um, but there's a hundred. I know it's going to look really goofy with all my crops like randomly mixed in with each other, but um, 
which is kind of how I need to do it. Let's see now. Um, I want this all to be population and wood and stuff like that. So I'm going to extend the road kind of up this way. Um, I'm going to maybe put like a chapel and stuff like right here. I'm going to harvest these bricks here too. How much build clay pit takes. Oh, we need a lot of hornel arrows for that actually. So I should get on that as soon as I can. Um, let's get these goats rolling though. Let's see, maybe... I want to try putting a goat farm here. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'll, I'll use it all for farming later, but... I do absolutely want to try it for with uh, goats. See how quick the goats can actually be made here, you know? Or actually how quick the uh, process runs. Let's put a goat farm right there. I can put, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can put a silo. Um, let's upgrade this for now. You can put a warehouse right here. Maybe collect clay at the same time. Um, so let's see, these are, these are all... Um, let's see here. Base productivity 100%, photosynthesis 10%, irrigation. So these are running at 210%. Um, so we'll see. Actually, let's put a tortilla maker down. Um, and maybe I can put the industry kind of up here or up here. Um, let's move... Actually, let's put a road kind of like this. Um, going across there. And I'll put a bridge this way. Um... But what's going on with this sawmill? Okay, it is it is producing timber, so that's good. I think maybe I want to do one more, though. To get that really, really boosted. Maybe get some more population here as well. Sorry if I'm a little, uh... I'm a little hectic at the moment. It's just because... I know that this gets really rough, so... Let's do two by three there. And we do need to get the tortilla maker going ASAP, so, um... So the more timber I've got, the better. So maybe, you know what, I can put the tortilla maker down here. I can keep some industry down in this area. I think that would actually be a pretty good idea. So you can put the tortilla maker right there. And that does take quite a few, actually. Um, and do we have... I don't think we're, we're... We don't exactly have, like, a surplus of corn. But if I use a silo here, maybe I could be making, like, a lot more llamas. Or a lot more uh, goats. But the goats are actually right on par, so yeah, I don't need to do any more than that. Um, I'm not going to add a silo. It's just money, extra money bricks and all that stuff I don't need to make right now. So we're going to keep it like that. Um, oh, this guy needs a road. Sorry, buddy. And I'm going to make a 2x3 here. 2x2 two two there. And then this 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 little bit of population should be able to uh, help out a bit. And let's see here. Oh, one thing I wanted to do is select a policy too. Can't forget that. Reduced rations. Happiness. Oh, minus twenty happiness. Oh my goodness. Um, chance of illness. Chance of riots. Reduced needs. Increased consumption of. Wow. Caffeination. Reduced needs. Oh, so that's. That, I think this one's pretty good, actually. If I make a lot of coffee, I get, caffeination would be really good. But the uh, but the reduced rations, I don't think would be good. Because chance of riots increased, reduced needs. Eh, yeah. I don't think that's really worth it at the moment. Um, but the insufficient workforce is making this move pretty darn slow. So maybe I could put one... I could put one right here for now. Just to get more timber going here, and then make another another one right here. Another sawmill. Alright, so um, let's build one more, this guy. And then continue to make... Let's continue to blueprint some stuff too, just to stay on top of it. There we go. And of course, I built that lumber camp too close. So at the moment it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a little little crowded here, but I'll fix that. 
So I can only, I think these these uh, these Hornelar residences, they cost one wood, perfect. So as my population increases, let's see, that is producing ever so slowly. All right, so let's let's hit play on that real quick. Um, and we also, oh, we actually also have all this, uh, all these, all those bricks and timber. Let's just, let's, let's boost this up then. Perfect. Um, so my radius hasn't increased yet on this one, but I do want to maybe build a few Hacienda Hornalero quarters. I think that would be a good idea for now. So maybe we can make them here. Maybe we, let's make two of them here. And then I wonder if I can build, let's turn off blueprint mode so I can actually see like, okay, so I can't build it there, but I can build it here. Um, okay, so I can extend it out like that. Perfect. It might be a little irregular, but uh, at least it's, you know, it's good enough for population. Um, so that's going to in greatly increase the need for the tortillas probably, but uh, I am producing them like pretty quickly. So it's not too much of a worry. And I'm probably going to have to redo all this, of course, later once like the radius increases for them. Um, so those actually do cost money. Interesting. Um, oh, that, that one's out, actually out of range. Okay, let's just get rid of that then. We'll keep the road kind of like right here. All right, new city status, town. So we're going to be building up, uh, we're building up Pornolero workforce. We're getting, oh yeah, yeah, see the tortillas are coming in. So the workforce is really going to start to to, uh, to come in now. So I want to make sure all of this is like population here. And I want to make sure that um, probably keeping the population kind of to this side, at least for the regular Hornaleros and then the Hacienda stuff will stay here. But maybe industry dropping that right in the middle or actually putting it way over here might be a good idea too. So I was thinking I could just do this. Um, let's build a bridge kind of like that. Then I'm going to loop around the mountain and make sure this is all roaded up. Make sure all these mines are good to go. Um, build a bridge this way. Want to make sure this this um, this like silver mountain here is all is all accessible. So there's one, two, three, four there. So I got a road all the way around here. And then maybe you know what I could I could maybe put like a lot of the industry like in this little this little pocket maybe that would be a good plan. So let's let's blueprint the the industry here. Put a warehouse there, and then we could actually move these guys here just to keep this all like extremely. Um, oh, actually, these guys are in the process of bringing timber there, so I don't want to disturb that. There we go. All right, so they should be actually bringing in the timber like pretty, pretty quickly now. Um, I want to move. So what's the storage here? There's one storage. Okay, I'm just gonna move it and see how it affects it. The summers are punishing, indeed, sir. All right, now I got to build a silver mine. So I'm gonna get do get to doing that as quick as I can. But uh, the timber needs to stay in full production here. So that's going to stay that way. Um, Hornaleros are not happy, but I should build a silver mine. Oh, it takes 20 uh, timber, but that's fine because I do have a lot of extra here. Perfect. Um, and the one I want to build, I could build the one here, or I could build the one, build on the one over here. Oh, this actually isn't, there we go. That was one wasn't fully connected. Okay, so let's build the mine. I'll just do this one. Give your silver unto me, Mighty Mountain. Absolutely. So maybe I could put the warehouse like right here for now. Just to make sure it's all collected. There we go. Okay, so that's that's looking good. Um, and what do we need now? We need, we need rum, schnapps, all that good stuff. So let's check on the tortillas. The tortillas are actually 
not the greatest at the moment. So I'm probably going to have to take these goats and put them somewhere else. But that, that won't be really much of an issue, I guess. But so what we need to do is we need to build another farm and we need to build uh, sugar cane for the rum. All right, we already did that. Okay, now let's build 100 modules here. We'll build them kind of like that. And then this this little area is actually kind of getting um, getting a little bit restricted, so I kind of want to move like move some of these modules like up this way and fill this out. So there's 100 there. We will upgrade that. All right, and how quick are we producing um, photosynthesis plus 10%? Okay, so it's at perfect productivity. And this will be, what is this, 30 seconds? Okay, 30 seconds, yep. And then the rum distillery is also 30 seconds. So maybe we need to build actually a couple of these because I'm really, really looking to boost my population. Um, so I'm going to need as much of this stuff as possible. All right, it doesn't, it won't hurt me to build like kind of that width, at least the width of the farm. So I'm gonna extend it kind of like that. There we go, that's a hundred. Okay, so now we've got two sugar cane going. And then I'm also going to need, um, I already have the timber going for the lumberjack hut, but I actually might need more. I think I'm going to need more. So you know what I want to do? I'm going to put f a few of them here for now because there's a lot of unutilized space, right? So I'm really going to need that boost in timber. Um, I want to put this one maybe like... Oh, it looks like it's not, um, not really affecting this, I guess. Okay, so it's weird. I can put them pretty close to each other, actually. I can put this guy, like, right there with no problem. Oh, I do need more timber, though. So I can put the road kind of like this. And it won't really affect them. Interesting. All right, let's play, get it going a little bit faster. I do need the more timber to accumulate so I can build the warehouse up there. And then I can also really um, keep these sawmills running. Because it seems like the building materials are the real, like, the real bottleneck, or the real... Like issue? Oh, I can't even upgrade that. If I could upgrade this, I could actually help increase the productivity here because these loading docks are really full. Um, yeah, anyways, I will need the extra timber for the rum distilleries. So, let's see here. I can put one rum, rum distillery here. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, and I need, need six timber yet. So that timber is going to come in pretty soon here. Let's speed that up just a little bit. There we go. Alright, so we'll put it back down to slow speed and then um, take a look at how we're doing as far as the rum goes. So the one rum distillery is good enough, so that's good. Agriculture, we're producing a really nice surplus of sugar cane. And we're producing a really good surplus of wood. Um, so that's really awesome. And then to build on the clay, we can actually build a clay pit right now. So that's really, really awesome. And I think I want to build it maybe maybe here first. So we'll get those bricks going as soon as possible. And then I'm, I'm just putting some, some, of the, um, some of the industry here, but I, what I really want to do is get the brick factories going as well, but that takes eight copper. So the Hernaleros are unhappy. Why are they so unhappy? Oh, they need a, they need a chapel. So that requires timber as well. So let's speed this up, get my timber going here. And the needs are really decreasing. There, the chapel should help a lot actually with happiness. Um, all right, let's stick it on regular play for now. Yeah, and the tortillas are going in and out, in and out. So I do need to figure out the goats. So the goats, let's build a road kind of right, oops. Kind of right here. And I do need to get, um, let's see, maybe the goats could actually go, I could build several goat farms. And they could actually go like up here, probably. 
Um, let's see here. We can build a road kind of this way. Um, oh, and actually, we should do ponchos as well. The linseed. Oh, maybe we don't really need... Let's see. They do plus nine uh, coins. Plus six happiness. Huh. Okay. Okay, maybe I should do some more here, too. Because I think... I think there is something to having some hernal arrows here. Like, I think it might be actually be a really good idea to have to have some here and mixed in with the hacienda. So we'll do some more here. Two by two there. It's a little messy, but I know. But uh, I gotta do it for the chapel and all that. Um, fire station, actually, really good idea. We should put this one right here, kind of in the middle. All right, so that fire station can fight off like anything that kind of comes our way. And um, we're bringing in the clay, that's good. We do need to start brick production though, like as soon as possible. So let's get the bricks going. I do have a rum distillery there. Um, let's see. I could fit this guy here. And fit this one here. Um, actually, and you know what? What does it take to make a new trade? Because I can start making a new trade spot as well, or a new island. Because this one has nothing but niter, but it's got oil, so I can get an oil trader out going. Get the, all the silver ore going. This one has a ton of fertility, though. Holy crap. But it's all got to be in basins, though. So, I'm going to have to fill this up with basins. If I could get that going before the monsoon season, that would be wonderful, actually. Um, so what's that going to take to really get that going? Let's see, I'll bring that I'll bring that ship of the line to the other island to see what it takes to make a trade post. And then, let's see, um, the basin foundation takes the 35 timber and 15 bricks, costs 5,000 as well. So that's, that's going to be kind of an endeavor there. Um, so we can set these, I kind of want this to be neat, so put that I'll put kind of a double road there and it looks a little weird to have this rum distillery around the side like that but um, it's okay all right bricks going I'd say we're off to a pretty solid start already I've got like my road system all set up um, oh and these guys actually need their happiness too whoops okay um, I'll put this guy maybe here I think that'll fit just nicely. Put that chapel there. Okay, so that way these guys can bring in some more coins and they're also a little more... Um, oh, actually... Wow, so the Hacienda... The the buildings that the Hacienda offers, the Has, or the Hornelero Quarters, they actually give you way more money for like the happiness. 18 coins? 12 coins? Wow, that's crazy. That's really good. 14, they give you 16 for rum. 8 for rum. So so those are like double. So I, I should focus definitely on the Hacienda buildings, right? And the radius has increased like dramatically. Okay. So if I put the whole entire radius, like let's say I put the, I put it like right here. I can get all the farms going here, and then, but I also need to be able to build population in this radius too, so if I, let's say I put it like, let's say I put it like right here, I could build all the farms there, and then I could also build all the Hacienda stuff for all the Hornaleros right here, and then I could build them on the side too, but also I could put it... I could put it right here. I don't know, I have a lot of space here though. And I can build these farms all the way down, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this here for now. But what I'm going to do is build a lot more Hornelero quarters. Um because I can do this now. And actually I'm gonna fill this in a bit. 
do this here, or little quarters there and there. Just to have these like kind of neatly boxed in, you know? Build the road. Boom. So they're, so they're good. Um, let's put this guy there. And then build a few more. Put two there. One there. And then, yeah, let's keep them like that. So I'll put maybe a few more right here. Oh, and that actually... Okay. I do want to keep this even, so I'm just going to get the road this way and put a few more... Kind of like maybe one here, one here. And it's just going to be uneven, I guess. We'll put two there. There we go. Alright, so now we need to figure out the needs after that. But they're definitely going to be bringing in a lot more money. With their happiness. Um, Alright, let's take the ship of the line. Let's actually put these bricks in here for now. And then we're going to go over here to this unsettled island. Because I really, really want to get this one, this one, like, irrigated as soon as possible. Um, so like the summer, I think, I don't know if we'll be able to get basins up there before the monsoon season hits, but I definitely want to get this one going at least, um, get the irrigation capacity up and maybe build, have some connected. So I want to build like, build like the aqueducts or whatever, like that way. Let's turn it. So actually, I, I actually, I actually don't know like where. Okay. Oh, so, okay, I can only build it, like... Alright. So I can build it this way. And it actually starts with a little bit... It starts with a little bit of water. That's actually... Does it really? 33? That's weird. I didn't think it would actually start with water. But it, it does, I guess. Um, okay, so let's bring it kind of this way. Bring it down here. Then we'll we'll let it kind of fill up there. Um, and then I wanted to maybe bring it... So it's going to go extend four out, right? So I can bring it just like this. One, two, three, four. And then I can bring it... Um, because I can bring the road this way and build farms on this road. So, it's going to extend four this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I can bring it out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bring it out. Right. I can put it there. Okay, and then that way I can build the uh, the road kind of out, and I'll, I'll build it kind of like this, and then build it like that. So that way I can build the farm to like kind of snake around that. I know it looks like a weird little antenna, but uh, I think the irrigation capacity will increase as it rains, though. We'll, we'll see how, we'll see kind of totally, we'll see how it works um, when the rain actually does start coming in. But I wanted to build it like this, so I really get like a full, like get as much of that as I can. And maybe, maybe, does this require a road as well? I don't know. Um, let's see, irrigation. Variations in individual summers and monsoons may be milder or more intense. Let's see, each basin holds a limit, a limited amount of water. It's currently supplying 20. Maximum it can support is 32. So this one, the max capacity is 10. But doesn't the max capacity increase? They contain slowly reduces. Moving a basin will empty any water. I wonder if the basin, so if I build another basin, say like, say like right here, and it costs, it takes 90 workers. I'm not gonna do that right now, cause I already, I already have this one. Um. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works, but uh, let's check this out and see 
Okay, so this cost 12,000. Holy crap, 12,000 for that. 10 timber and 20 bricks. Um, I've already, I've, I'm already making, oh, I'm, I'm capped out on timber actually. Okay. So, um, let's actually go ahead and see if I can build any more mines actually. Yeah, I can totally do that right now. So I'm gonna build one here. Put one storehouse there. And make sure I'm really stacking up on the ore. Um, and that took quite a bit of bricks too, so I, it's good that I'm stacking up on the ore, but like at the same time, it's it's uh, gonna cost me. So let's check on the needs real quick. What do I need more of? I need more rum, I need schnapps, period. Um, rum, schnapps, um, and tortillas. So I need to figure out a solution for the tortillas. I want to get those at least going first because the tortillas, um, the tortillas are a big deal. They're going in and out. They're worth a good amount of coins too. So, um, so let's get the goats going. We can put a few, maybe, I can maybe put a few here. So let's do like, um, one, two, three, Okay, so there, there's a way to do these. Let's rotate this. Um, maybe let's bring them like that. Can we turn them like this? Yeah. Um, and then six, let's put them like that. Put a goat farm there. And then maybe let's move that one there. One, two. Um, let's see. Three. Actually. Four. Arranging them in kind of a square, I guess. We can put one maybe there, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. We can figure out more about the goats later. All right, there we go. And I know I'm gonna need just, I know I'm gonna need a lot of tortillas, so I'm just gonna get this out of the way now, you know? Um, get more corn. All right, now where's that corn? Let's get Let's get one here. Actually, we can build more Hacienda farms as well. We should build another farm here. One there. Um, one there. One there. I guess that's it for now. Actually, let's put this one kind of like this, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> okay, now. More corn. There we go. We're just gonna extend this right on up. That's 88. Then of course, once we get tractors, we'll have to redo all of this, but that's okay because tractors are a nice, um, they're a nice welcome thing. One more of corn, and then we'll make another tortilla maker. Oh, there's the monsoon. I guess we'll find out now. Um, oops. We're gonna find out how much water we can actually get. There's 87. All right, now I'm gonna do potatoes. How much modules are the potato fields? 100 as well, okay. Oh man, I'm actually running out of space, kinda. We'll upgrade that. Move this along here. Then maybe get a Hacienda Brewery, right? We can make, yep. Then we're going to begin brewing um, schnapps.
Yep, okay, two on schnapps, that's good. There's one on potatoes, we're gonna do another one on potatoes. Oh, we don't have enough bricks, actually. Okay. Um, let's actually get a tor another tortilla maker on here, though. That only takes two bricks, thankfully. There we go. And this guy's kind of out. Um, let's get more clay going. Here's one clay deposit. And then he can bring it up there, that's good. We don't need to make an extra warehouse or anything. Um, let's put... Okay. One there, one there. And then we're gonna have to blueprint a uh, warehouse because we don't actually have the materials for one right now. Um, and we're actually running out of Hornoleros again. What? Alright, so actually let's get the... Um, okay, so that tortilla guy is working. Actually, let's build that warehouse now. We can build this brick factory, and then let's just build him. I know we're gonna have a shortage, but uh, we need it for the bricks. We're gonna really need it for the bricks. Okay, um, so now we've got a whole bunch of those going. These guys are not on fertile soil. Processing time is one minute, so. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I do have the extra corn going. I did build two extra corn, right? Um, yeah, the corn is fine. Okay, good. Let's actually check on the actual needs here of this one. Okay, so I'm producing them schnapps, not enough rum. And I do need spices as well, so... Um, not enough rum. Let's make, um, more sugar cane. And actually, we should move this guy. I know it kind of sucks. Actually, you know what? The capacity is slowly increasing, so that's really good. Ever so slowly. So I c if I can store this up, store this all the way up, like I get a ton of farmland here. That'd be really awesome to get. And actually, I might be able to put this guy over here. Um. Oh man. No, I can't really put him there. But, I can put him, like, right here, as much as I don't really want to. But I'll have to actually build, I'll have to build two more of these because... I'll have to build one more because this guy is, like, double proactivity with this, so... That's kind of, um, kind of frustrating. But, I mean, it is what it is, so let's just move him and get it over with. Let's put this, uh... Let's put this guy to work. There's two. There we go, and then we'll get one more. We'll put them, uh... Can I fit six in here? Let's try it. I can fit one here. One, two, three. Oh yeah, awesome. Then... Four, five, and... Six. There we go. Lots of pastures there. Lots of goats. Okay. Good stuff. And let's move this tortilla maker up here by the industry. Actually, I can move it like that. There we go. Alright, so the monsoon season um, affects fishery. Productivity is low for that. Um, I, I actually don't require a fishery right now. Flooded mines. The silver ore mine productivity is down. Productivity of cyanide, leacher, and oxidation pool. Don't know what those are quite yet. Chance of fire is down. Chance of fire in surrounding buildings is down. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Um, oh yeah, and I needed to make... Because I do need to make more rum, don't I? Yeah, I definitely need more rum. So I wanted to make some more breweries then, as well. Maybe we can put them here. Not a schnapps distillery. A rum distillery. So maybe I can put the road kind of like that. And then build the sugar cane. Kind of like this. That's 81. There we go. Okay. 
So now this will bring stuff down to the Hacienda. That's really good. All right, so we need to make sure the rum is on point. So I, I built one more of these. And so the rum distillery is going here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, now I wanted to see if we actually came with any items. Oh, we did not. We did not come with any items here. So that's kind of sucky. Um, but let's, let's go up and make sure we're kind of getting enough money up here. I really want to expand on the population too. Um, so we should definitely do that. Some more Hornolero quarters. There we go, we can build two more there. There we go. That took all the brick all the rest of the bricks I had. Um and actually there's some left over, so clearly Yeah, clearly I did not have enough bricks. But you know how it is. Um, bricks are going to be a huge thing, so let's make sure those are let's make sure those are really, really in order here. Oh, and looks like I'm actually full up on timber right now. Interesting. And I can put uh, put these two guys like that. But yeah, bricks are absolutely essential for expansion, so you know it's just got to be done and then and then this uh, warehouse that can actually service the silver ore deposit here all right so the monsoon's going um i don't know so the basin product actually this is 26 now so i wonder if that means like i'm actually i am gaining a lot more i'm gaining a lot more fertile ground here so so that's actually nice that this this basin's building up quite well and i think i think it does wane over time right like the capacity does so we'll see actually how much I can get um, from this entire monsoon season. And then I'll build like farms kind of based around that. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm building these farms as I go. And it's working quite well. So let's check on our needs and make sure we're doing okay in each of them. We, we actually don't have any hot sauce. That could probably boost our income by quite a bit. Um, agricultural, we're, we're on par with all those. Um, and if I remember right from my last Let's Play, the hot sauce is actually pretty, pretty awful to take care of. Um, so let's actually build... Oh, I can't build a spice farm here with the Hacienda. So I'll keep that paused for now. Um, let's see if I can get a spice farm here. Actually... How do I build? I don't see the uh, I don't see the recipe for the hot sauce or anything. Weird. Why can't I get hot sauce right now? That's a little strange. Um. Okay. Can these guys? These guys don't have act. They don't have a uh, hot sauce need. That's so weird. Is it only obreros? Obreras? We can build a couple of the residences, right? Oh no, I have to actually unlock them here. Okay, so I can maybe do a few. Wait, why aren't these guys getting any? All oh, the residences actually aren't full because of the tortilla issue and the uh, rum issue. Okay, makes sense. That makes sense. Maybe I can put some decorations here too. Although I don't think I have access to them right now. Police station would actually be really good to have. Um... Maybe I could put one, like maybe I could readjust this actually. Put this one here. Put this guy, actually I want to keep him there. Okay. Um, let's put that guy there for now and then put the police station maybe right here. Yeah, that's gonna have to be where it goes. So I can keep I can keep this guy right here. I think that'll be fine. Um, and then once the once the police station's ready, I can build it. But I don't see any riots right now, so maybe I should just hold off on that. To be honest, I'm thinking that might be the good play here. Um, so I have actually I have all three of those built on three, four, five, six. Yeah, all my my brick production is in full swing right now. So that's that's actually pretty exciting. 
Um, the Hornaleros are doing good. Let's see if we can get some Obreros. Oh, we absolutely can. Awesome, there we go. So now these guys can really help out. Um, maybe we'll do this little cluster as well. Perfect. Okay, so now we have a few to work with. That's really good. They're gonna help me build something better, absolutely. Okay, so now those these guys actually bring in quite a lot of income. So fish stew is something I need now. And it looks like I do need the fishery and the Hacienda Spice Farm, so maybe this one... Okay, yeah, so that did unlock spices for me. So, let's get the spice going. Um, I can put it there, yeah. Alright. Let's get that going then. I'm gonna utilize all this space as much as I can. Uh, and I don't think I'm actually going to have enough room for one more farm, unfortunately. But, uh, it'll be okay. Build the road there. Alright, so the spice builds in one minute. Um, and the fish do, okay. It creates free harbor area, 30 seconds. Okay, so now we can, um, start getting the fish. Can I actually build, like, a road out here? Oh yeah, I can. That's cool. So maybe I'm going to do this, build the fish kind of like out here. Free harbor area needed. Okay, I can build one there. Cool. Three. Oh, I can only do three. That's okay. You can build one. So productivity is minus 20% there. So maybe I should do two for the fishery. I have spices going. That's one minute. Um, and this takes 30 seconds actually, so I should do another Hacienda Spice Farm, but the problem is, is that, um, and I wish I had my, oh, actually, the radius is huge on this, I can actually build, I can actually build a Spice Farm here, I think, yeah, but it's not, like, it's not big enough, though, that's the problem. Yeah, see, it's increasing, but it's just not enough. But I could, man, I could really use a spice farm, though. What am I, am I producing too much of any of these goods, actually? I'm building too much sugar cane. So, let's change this one to spices. Perfect. So now I can build a fish stew kitchen. I'll put that right there. Alright, so now the fish stew is going to be something that's here for my obreros. So the fish stew is going to come in, they need coffee. Um, so I can build spices now, but I don't see anything for hot sauce, so... Yeah, hot sauce definitely isn't here, so I don't know how I'm supposed to make it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Brewery catalog. Oh, I can get hot sauce once I'm at 600 or 600 obreros, and I can also make beer too. So that's actually really awesome. And then once all this fills out, I'll be able to like loop the modules around. Um, and actually, you know what? I should delete this here for now. Like maybe there. And then can I build more canals? I can only connect it here because I wanted to move it like kind of like this way around and up. Hmm, but that would limit what I can do here, right? Yeah, I think I kind of built this a little strangely. The capacity is 41 though, so I can I can kind of manipulate this as I see fit. But moving it will reset my capacity, so what I could do is extend it this way like yeah hmm I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this would be actually you know what I can bring the canal kind of like over here yeah cuz I, I so what I could do is I could put like a couple of farms here and expand this little hole this little area right there two three four 
You know what I should do is actually... Okay, so now the canal can go... Two, three, four. So it can actually go here. And then, um, one, two, three... One, two, three, four can actually go here instead. I can extend it there. And that way I can put like a farm or two right here and then fill up this whole area. And then once I build a road here, I can fill up that whole area. Um, let's put roads around all this. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. And once it fills out this way, I can extend the modules. I should probably delete like that one. It's a little too close. Delete that one, maybe. Um, maybe delete that one. Yeah, that way I can build like the modules kind of around a little bit better. That way there. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so I can delete this one. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. I think that's like kind of a good idea to keep it that way. And then maybe I can mail build a hacienda farm like right here. Yeah, I can put one right there. This just needs to fill up a little bit more. And then I can really utilize that. All right, so I'm building a lot of bricks. So let's take the, I think it's 12, right? Oops, excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, five there, and then I wanted to do 20 bricks here. Oh, and actually, I, I could just use like the more more timber to be like more self-sustaining on the other island. So I'll bring it down here. And then that way, I'll catch the next monsoon season with that island. But I do want to build like linseed. I want to build, um, what is it? I want to get the uh, ponchos going on that island and trade them up to uh, Deserto de Prado. So I may have screwed myself over on this basin, but um, it'll be okay. I'll build another basin. And actually, I can't do that now. I'm missing the timber and also the people. Um, but I can go ahead and build some more Hornel Arrows here. Put them right here. But I'm, I'm building a lot of bricks and that makes me happy how much how much bricks I'm pulling in um, okay there's that there's that so hopefully I'm doing enough schnapps hot sauce will be plus worth 18 which is pretty nice yeah hot sauce is actually the most valuable and it's plus four as well so getting the hot sauce would be a big deal at the moment but we can't we don't have access to it yet because um, we need more obreras so we can definitely get some more. All right, so we, yeah, we've got the fish stew going, so that's worth a good amount of income. We should get some more going here, some more obreros. And then the hornaleros are gonna trickle in here from the hacienda, so. Um, oh, we can build an obrero quarters now too. So we can do like maybe two here. And then the summer is coming in. Awesome. Uh, the actuary introduced him himself. I am Edmundo Vara, actuary to King uh, Yo Yao, collector of royal blah blah blah. That's Viscount Oliveria to you, blah blah blah. That your work proceeds efficiently. Okay. We actually do have increased productivity. That's good. Um, okay. The actuary will arrive when this timer runs out. When he arrives, you must deliver 25 tons of silver ore. So I might actually have like a decent amount. Oh, I already have 20. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm already like set up pretty decently for success on that end. Um, let's build the trading post here and claim this island. Yeah, and we'll keep we'll keep that 35 timber and 10 brick on there for now. I think it'll be a good idea to do that. 
We need cyanide to get the silver out of the rock. Absolutely. So we'll slow that down. And I think what I want to do is actually just call this episode because it's been over an hour. I think I'm, I feel like I'm doing really good. The capacity of this is actually decreasing, but that's okay. I think I can still manage to fit a farm like right in here and probably right in here once this all actually fills up. Anyways, so guys, thanks for watching very much. I'm having a lot of fun with this and I think I think I might be up to the challenge, oddly enough. I think I've, I'm kind of feeling it. You know what I mean? So I'm really happy to continue on with this one. We'll get Isla de Ludo set up on the next episode, but we've already claimed one island. We've already got a basin um, ready for another farm. We've got We've already got our industry set up. It's it's overall just looking really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this episode, for the next episode, and for this series entirely. So with that, I will catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.